Tonight, anti-logging protesters surprise the Deputy Premier returning home. A fantastic welcome reception. Coming like a bad. Tragedy in the Derwent Valley as a schoolgirl is run down. More organ donors sought as a Launceston family shares its heartbreaking story. You've changed not just that person's life, but their whole family. Prevailing down the outside, races up, grabs the lead, prevailing. prevailing. And an outsider breaks the cup favourite's winning streak. Good evening, I'm Peter G. Welcome to ABC News. The Deputy Premier has returned from his eight-day trade mission, saying the message from Asia is loud and clear. Brian Green says Tar Ann's customers have been spooked by environmental activists campaigning overseas and the company wants it to stop. He's urged protesters to target him instead, something they didn't need an invitation to do today. His state political reporter Brad Markham. Back in Tasmania and straight into an anti-logging protest. A fantastic welcome reception. Coming like a bad. The Deputy Premier was greeted by a giant cardboard cutout of the fictional children's character Pinocchio. But he shrugged off protesters and their concerns about veneer processor Tar Ann. Tar Ann's wood supply demands are actually driving the ongoing devastation of our high conservation value forests. It's just disappointing that they focus on a company that is just working in a legitimate way. It was a chaotic end to Brian Green's eight-day Asian trade mission, which cost taxpayers $57,000. He used his time in Japan to meet with Tar Ann customers, being targeted by environmentalists. That is uh, having an effect on uh, their brand as they see it. Uh, they want us to resolve the matter. Brian Green has issued a challenge to anti-logging protesters. I'm the minister who sets the policy. If they want to target anybody, they should be targeting uh, myself or Forestry Tasmania. The Deputy Premier has arrived home to a detailed report advising which areas of native forest should be protected under the $276 million intergovernmental forest agreement. Its authors have assessed the conservation value of 572,000 hectares of forest. It's absolutely vital that this report is released as soon as possible. It's already overdue. Um, that's caused further uncertainty in the forestry sector. We'll uh, uh, liaise with the, uh, the federal government and at the same time talk to the, uh, the signatories with respect to uh, how we progress from this point. The legislation crucial to the forest deal is due to be tabled in state parliament in June. But if protesters continue their attacks, the chances of the bills being passed are slim.